friends and welcome back to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today we're going to be testing out some really cool products that we've seen on YouTube. Sometimes you see the videos or you see on the pre-rolls and you're like, does that really work? Well today, we're going to find out. This is the Kaboki Hair Loss Concealer. This is the end. You know the one where a whole bunch of people are standing around a ball guy and then they shake this on his head and then suddenly the ball patch completely disappears? It's like, really? Are you serious? So, this is a medium brown and basically it's fibres that you put onto ball spots. So this is how it looks. It's just like very fine dust almost. And if you ball it up, it's just fibres all coming together. So, I have a little secret. I have a bit of a ball spot. Okay. This is, you know, last time your parents tell you, don't pull your hair so tight. I didn't listen, so now I've got a ball spot. Serve you right, Shuen. Okay, ah, right there. So I'm gonna see if this works. Whoa, it's really building up, huh? Wow! Okay, hello, this stuff is like redonkulous. So it has covered up like the ball spot. I can't stop looking at it because it's really cool and it works. This stuff is amazing. So this says that it will last through wind and it won't smear your clothes and it will last through sweat as well. So let's put it to the test. Yeah, okay. Oh, at the end of the day, it's still just fibre, right? So it does come off if you touch it. Okay, so I don't think this is going to last you like 24 hours, that kind of thing. But if you need it for like, say, a photo or like for an event, I think this is a great solution for people who have like ball spots. So I would give this 8.5 out of 10 because I think it's very natural and it looks good. All right, this is the Babyless Big Hair. This has been raved about by a lot of YouTubers and in case you don't know, Babyless or Babyless as I've heard it called, but I prefer Babyless, so I'm going to say that. It's a very well-known brand when it comes to hair tools like the hair curler, this one, and another pro curl. It's a lot of things. So I really wanted to try this out. So this basically is a hair dryer and a brush in one. See this brush? is like a hair brush so you would put your hair over it and then these vents is where the air comes out. It has two heat settings plus a cool setting and it also rotates so you don't need to like keep turning, turning. So this is supposed to give you volume and that salon blow dry finish. Very nice, right? Well, you need to use this on damp hair so I'm going to damp my hair a little bit and then try it out. Ooh. Ah, I caught again. I don't understand. Wow. This is damn fun, huh? It really takes a while to get used to. I can see the potential in this. So I'm just gonna figure it out for a while, okay? Oh, do you see that? Okay, okay, I think I finally got it. This thing is amazing. It's like, I love this. It makes the curls look bouncier and loose. I can't imagine doing this with a brush. Like, you know when you see that hairdressers do it, it's like, what are you doing? And it's like, this kind of like figures everything out for you. And I figured out the trick. You have to make sure that it's already rotating before it touches your hair. I would give this a 9 out of 10. It takes a while to get used to. It's a bit difficult. But to be able to get this kind of look every day, I think it's wonderful. I really like it. So the next one is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. It is a balm, so that means it's supposed to moisturise your lips and it's also a stain, so it's supposed to stain your lips and give you colour. A lot of YouTubers rave about it because they say it's very highly pigmented, it makes your lips moisturise, it's also very long-lasting. And it's also very affordable. So we're going to test it out and see how good it really is. It's moisturising. It glides over my lips very easily and my lips are a little, little bit dry. It's not super moisturising in that it doesn't make it look like plump, like a gloss would, but it's not drying the way a lipstick might be. And you can see the colour is like a buildable colour. See, when I first started it, it was a lighter kind of red, right? But now I've gone over it a few times, it's getting deeper and deeper, which is really nice because then it's up to you how much you're going to put on. It's nice. It's definitely very balmy. Tastes alright. Not too bad. A little bit of mint in there. I like it. It's really cute. Let me see whether it transfers. It transfers. Let me see how many, how many kisses does it take. 
<laughs> just like this is self love. So it does transfer, but the great thing about it is that the color there's still color on my lip. So this is eighteen ninety in Singapore, but a lot of the YouTube videos have said like it's less than ten dollars, and then you have buy one half off. It's not the case here, so I don't think it's super affordable at all actually. <laughs> but I think it's a very good product. It's not sticky. The color is great. There's also a great range of colours. I would give this 8 out of 10. It's about as moisturising as a lip balm. So I actually think it's really good for this kind of balm to have this kind of colour. It's pretty impressive. This product is the Never Wet Water Repellent Spray. This thing is so super cool. Like, I know it's not a beauty product, but we saw it on YouTube and it's just like, we need to try that. So, basically, what you do is you take the spray, you spray a base coat, you wait half an hour, then you spray a top coat, you wait half an hour, and it makes whatever surface you spray it on water repellent. Like, it chases the water away. It's crazy. So, I have with me two pieces of Scott towels. This one has been sprayed with the Never Wet Spray. This one hasn't. And now I'm going to take up some water and I'm going to try on the, the Scott towel without the spray first. So normal. It just soaks out everything. I'm so excited. Okay, now to spray some water on the one with the Never Wet Spray. And like this. What? Oh my goodness, it's just forming drops. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. This is ridiculously cool. Okay, let's see if it's shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Okay, this is ridiculous. It really works. I guess a more practical use for this would be on shoes. Like, you know, you, when you go out into the rain and you don't want your socks to get wet. Now I have with me a white shoe that I'm going to test it out on. Wow, whoa, whoa! This thing is just like bouncing off. Okay, wait. It took the water. Now let's see if it can handle. Ding, 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 ding. Chocolate sauce! We saw this experiment on YouTube as well. <laughs> I really want to see it in real life. Ready? Let's go. What the what? This gets a 10 out of 10 from me because it says it's water repellent and it is water repellent and it's not just water repellent, it's chocolate sauce repellent. What? I'm just bring in all my clothes. Every time I go eat curry, <laughs> my curry bouncing off. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Super cool. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us. If there are any other YouTube products that you've seen and you want to see if they're really as good as they say they are, let us know in the comment box down below. If you want to find out more about the products that we featured, go to our Featured Products album on our Facebook page. In the meantime, go be beautiful.